17 frames, it's time now to welcome the players. We begin with the reigning shootout champion playing today in the biggest match of his life. Dancing into the arena, Strictly Chris Wakelin. <laughs> Triple Crown winner with 25 ranking titles, aiming to win his fourth Northern Ireland trophy, the ace in the pack, Judd Trump! Settle in, folks. Enjoy the action with us. The final of this year's Northern Ireland Open. Good afternoon to our commentary team of Joe Johnson and first up, Philip Studd. Good afternoon. So the stage is set. It's one of the best final days on the snooker calendar. The Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open title match. Judd Trump bidding to make more history in becoming just the fifth player to win three consecutive ranking titles. Chris Wakelin, who's never beaten him, in 11 attempts is looking to cause a big upset and walk away with the biggest title of his life eight frames coming your way this afternoon judd trump to get us underway in front of this packed house at the waterfront hall and trump is also of course going for a fourth title here and his sixth home nations title he's already won more than anyone else with five having claimed the english open of course this season and then the Wuhan Open, back-to-back, -back, 19 straight victories. But I thought Chris Wakelin, Joe Johnson, sounded pretty bullish in his pre-final interview. I think even though his record against Trump is, to put it mildly, modest, I think he's up for this. Yeah, and why shouldn't he's got to the final of a tournament? He's won a tournament. The shootout, he's feeling confident, he knows it, but he's got to start well, I think. Can't afford to go two or three down straight away. He's got to try and stay with him. And it's easy to say that. Needs a few shots just to settle. The first seven meetings between them were basically a no contest. Trump won by an aggregate frame score of 30 to 6. The last four have been a lot more competitive, most notably, I guess, their World Championship meeting in 2018. First round, Trump led 8 4. Wakelin forced a decider which could have gone his way. It was nervy and edgy right the way to the end. Well, we're just going to find out how Trump is feeling right now. He could stun this in, this red to the right corner. Or he could decide to play the safety, which is what he's doing. Try and get him behind the brown, maybe. Yeah, that's what he attempted. The most recent meeting was a particularly painful one for Wakelin. It looked as though, for all the world, he was going to finally break his duck against Trump at the 11th attempt. He was four up with five to play in the European Masters. Trump won the last five. And as we know, Judd Trump this season has turned comebacks into an art form. He's been producing some amazing turnarounds from very precarious positions. He's done it a couple of times this week. Not least last night, 4-1 down to the informed Barry Hawkins, 1-5 on the bounce. Well, you see, Nasowski, when he was playing Wakelin, would have probably taken that opening red on there, refused and played the safety. And nearly saw the benefit. 
Kenny Q. This red to the right, left corner. Yeah, he can just about cue it. It's not easy, though, to dodge all those reds. Doesn't want to leave Wakelin with an easy chance, and that's why he refused that last red. Yeah, good pot and good kiss. He's nicely on the pink. He took his time about it, worked it out, knew it was going to be difficult to get that cue ball out of the area, so tried to just concentrate on the pot. So he's in amongst them. The pink will probably go onto the black spot, and that does him a favour. Seven. Doesn't need to chase the black at any stage with the pink and the blue both available. Eight. And that's what I was saying. Jack Masowski, when he was playing, he attacked everything, and, and that's what we like about Jack, obviously. But if they don't go in, your opponent gets the chances, doesn't he? Well, that could have gone better. We may have to play for luck here. 14. There is a, a red that will cut to the left corner. But this long red to the right corner, I'm, I'm not sure if he can cue it or if he'd need the long spider. So he may well take that cut to the left corner. That's not the worst kiss I've ever seen. A right-handed player would probably take the pink, but he'd need the rest. Just a little awkward, got to be careful of those two reds. Trump wins today. He'll move to 26 ranking titles and move into fifth place on his own on the all time list ahead of Mark Williams and behind just O'Sullivan Hendry, John Higgins, and Steve Davis. Well, he's not close to those two reds that he's worried about. So just needs to concentrate on the pot because he isn't close to them. But just taking his time, isn't he, with various shots. He knows it's important to get a good start against somebody as good as Chris Wakelin. Twenty-one. And to be honest, it's nice to see quite a few reds safe just in case he does miss. That eases the pressure on this break. Knows it's going to be difficult for Chris Wakelin to make the clearance where the reds are. 27. 28. Thirty-five. When he won the English Open this season in Essex, it was his first ranking time in three months. Of course, he won the Masters last season, but didn't win a ranking event. And at times struggled with his game, seemed to get a bit bogged down on occasion. He said at the start of this season he was determined to get back to playing his snooker on his terms. He, yeah, that's the red that he, he refused to the right corner. I mean, look where his cue is now. He had a straight red, more or less, to the right corner. 
but it was full of danger. Couldn't get anywhere with the cue ball. Very risky to play for the black and decided to wait for a better chance. And this was it. He didn't refuse the second one. Forty-seven. Does the red go to the left corner? It's a pretty handy lead already, given the state of the table and the awkwardness of some of the remaining reds. Yeah, sometimes Trump can get a bit too confident. But not on this occasion. He could have took it on. But decided to keep, keep waiting cold, make him earn his chance. Yes, that was a very measured first visit from Judd Trump, who is certainly going to not be taking Wakelin lightly today. He made that point after his victory over Hawkins yesterday. He's been watching Wakelin play this week, and he says that he feels he's improved enormously. And, of course, Wakelin was a big underdog yesterday against Jack Lazowski, but in the end, he completely dominated the match. Only conceded 28 points in the last five frames of that match, and in the last three, after the interval, Lazowski didn't score a point. And I think it was noticeable just how well Wakelin handled the occasion. He didn't seem phased by what was at stake at all. Calm and composed throughout. The challenge today is to replicate that demeanor when the title's on the line. Well, he tried to develop the reds, which he has done, but look at those four reds by the black. They're still all covering one another. So that means he can have a go at this red if he wants to, it'd be bang on the black. And he could only leave the red he's playing on. Good odds. Yep, nicely played. And a nice angle on the black to develop them. Well, two and of two for long pot success. And there were difficult pots. The first one was anyway. Now, oh, that didn't work out as planned. Eight. Well, I'm be trying to just push this red towards the cushion. Keep it safe. Got the speed Don't of the drop. table, Eight. look. Cue ball tight to that bolt cushion. It's not out of this game yet, Wakelin. The ball's becoming a little bit more desirable if it does get in. Normally you play that red just above the black, but those two reds on the right side cushion come into play. For a view. Fantastic view. 
Great atmosphere. Tickets went on sale today for next year's Northern Ireland Open and they'll be snapped up quickly. It's one of the great venues on the calendar for sure. And particularly when we get to the weekend, down to the one table, the atmosphere is special. Well, Philip mentioned that he was 4-0 up the last time that they played. So Trump knows how dangerous Chris Wakelin is. And there's no doubt that his shootout triumph has transformed his game in terms of his confidence, his belief. Obviously, the jury remains out on whether the shootout should or shouldn't be a ranking event. The fact is, it is. And it was a huge deal for Wakelin to lift his first major trophy, not least the £50,000 and points that came with it. Yeah, a little bit of trouble here, Trump. He's thinking whether to take the long red on, but he could come off the left side cushion and just land up to that red nearest the pocket. Well, I think that's what he's decided to do. Yeah, it should have been behind that red, though. Chris has got a chance here. Yeah. And just the right amount of stun on the cue ball to finish on the green or blue. He said after his victory over Lazowski that middle pockets used to be his weakness and now they're my best friends. He's done a lot of work on his middle pocket potting and that was certainly a good one. Well, he's got a couple of awkward reds. This was a really excellent shot to the middle pocket. And as I say, just the right amount of stun, stun on the cue ball to finish on the green. And if he could steal this one, Five. it would be a great boost to his confidence. Trump didn't escape from that good safety shot by getting in behind the red. Caught it a little bit too thin. Left a half chance, and this game now in that man's hands. Yeah, a bit uncomfortable on this. It's a real stretch. Twenty. Yeah, it's got a really nice style. Everything online. Now needs to leave an angle here on the black or pink to get to those two reds. Shows the pink and that looks okay. Just a little stun across to the reds. Twenty-eight. 
21 points the difference. Well, this is the shot, really. He needs to be nearly dead on the cushion with the red. And that's A1. Deal on the black, but he should be able to get to the yellow in and out of Bork. Oh, he'd done the work. He'd done the work. Press work now, 43. Just 12 points the difference. Yellow, green, and brown needed for Trump. That's going to hurt. Gasps from the audience. Judd Trump wins a reprieve. Two. Well, that wasn't clean, and that's why he hasn't quite got that cue ball back far enough. He's going to have to play this with a lot of left-hand side on the cue ball. Yeah, he needs... Green and brown. Poor yellow, that, from Trump, and that's what he's thinking. There's the side on the cue ball, and he couldn't have played it much better than that. Just got to make sure of the brown. Uh, that's just what he did. Snooker's required. An eventful opening frame. Judd Trump was in first, made 47. Chris Wakelin had the chance to steal the frame, but missed the cut back black. In playing up for the yellow, and Trump has moved in to clear to the pink. And so the favourite for a third consecutive ranking title takes the opening frame. Judd Trump leads 1 0. Waterfront Hall for our showpiece, the final of the Bet Victor Northern Ireland Open, and an eventful opening frame. Judd Trump was in charge at one stage. There's the Alex Higgins trophy. A second frame. Someone will be lifting that Chris this Wakelin evening. Chris Wakelin hit back, had the chance to steal, missed the black into the left corner. Judd Trump cleared to the pink. So 1-0 Trump, seven more frames in this first session. Nine is the target to lift that magnificent Waterford Crystal Trophy and the check that goes with it for £80,000. Not an ideal break to kiss the blue, but not a bad result for Chris Wakelin, who, were he to win today, would move up to 18 in the world. He's already guaranteed a career high ranking of 21 for getting this far. He's also guaranteed a place in next month's Champion of Champions. And you get £12,500 just for showing up for that event. So it's been a very positive week already, but of course he wants to go one step further, Joe. Yeah, he's certainly playing well enough, isn't he? He'll be disappointed, though, missing the black off the spot in the last frame. And that, the break off wasn't good. His second shot hit too thick. So Trump will see these mistakes and he'll want to pounce on them. Yeah, disappointment can affect a game. So much. We've said it so many times that it's sometimes difficult to get something that's so important 
out of your mind. And it wasn't a difficult black. Yeah, it was harder than it should have been. But I fancied him for it, and I'm sure he did. This is the black we're talking about. Just overcut it, then cut back into a blind pocket. Can be lethal. He's over hit this one. So, not ideal on this red. I thought he could have come down for the red to the left of the black there, but chose to play for this one. Nice recovery. Five. So, again, that's the red for me, the one to the left of the black. That opens the way to get to the black and those two reds next to the black. Trump has made a very yeah. handy habit of coming from behind recently on his way to this run of success. He's going for his 20th consecutive ranking 11. victory today. Of course, he was 5-2 down against John Higgins in the semi-finals of the English Open, 7-3 down in the final to Zhang Ander, 3-1 and 4-3 down to Stephen Maguire, 4-1 down yesterday to Barry Hawkins. But in an ideal world, he'd rather win from the front and make life a bit easier for himself today. Well, not the best positional shot there from Trump. 80. He'd done the hard work and he'd got rid of that red to the left of the black. But he just played that last shot a little careless. Uh, does the black go? We're not sure. Just. Well, a rare miss. Trump, 19. And that all stemmed from the poor positional shot a couple of shots earlier when he failed to get on the red from the black. chance to forget about that Miss Black in the last frame. Please make sure your phones are on silent. Tesislava Bosilova in charge of this final. It's been a remarkably hassle-free run to the final for Chris Wakelin. He hasn't lost frames in any match. His quarter-final against Yuan Sejun was quite a nervy affair. As he admitted afterwards, he was just relieved to get that done. But in the end, he won with something to spare, 5-2. And yesterday, well, he looked nerveless in taking out Jack Lazowski. He'd been so impressive. I think he's arrived, actually, Philip. as a snooker player. We were talking yesterday, wasn't we, about Barry Hawkins being a, Seven. a late developer and Stuart Bingham. And look at what, how their careers took off. Yes, and Wakelin's still only 31. So he's got a whole lot of career ahead of him. He started to have the belief in himself now. And that's half the battle with snooker players. I mean, that belief that they can do it under the pressure that we're all faced with. Nice little Eight. shot, that. Now, all these reds seem to be covering one another. I'm not sure if anything goes to that left corner. So he may have to try and disturb something, if he can. OK, 
kind of an angle does he have on the pink? Can he go into them? Yes, he can. Well, you do need a bit of luck when you're going into the reds, but he's so unfortunate there not to be on something. He struck them well. Well, the cue ball should have been closer to that ball cushion. problem with it is he's got to avoid the reds if he takes it on yeah and that caused the problem doesn't want the kiss on the yellow So shot to nothing here. And he's so good at those type of shots. Doesn't want to be straight on the black, but he has got the cue power to get anywhere. Great pot this. He must practice these so much because they're so regular. And they win frames, what matches. At his best, it's very difficult to keep him out. We saw that in his amazing performance to beat John Higgins to win the world title. Higgins just couldn't hide the cue ball, and there's none better in the world at doing that than Higgins, but Trump's shot-making in that final was off the scale. Eight. Well, that's a rare positional shot. That's not executed correctly. Still potable, but a lot more difficult. And he's at full stretch. Judge Trump, eight. Well, it was a good pot with the rest, wasn't it? But it's difficult to get to the next red from where he is. Cue ball close to the cushion, so all he can do is play it with. Going to have to try and come down for those reds surrounding the black. Yeah, just overrun slightly. Can still pop the red, but he would have liked to have been straight on this red and it would have been a frame winning chance. Now he's got to play up for the pink or blue. Seven.
So, great chance this now to level things up. Scores all level. 13. 14. 21. His previous best home nations performance had come in the 2016 English Open. He beat Ronnie O'Sullivan on his way to the quarterfinals of that event. He is going to need that red near the left side cushion to win the frame at this visit. But it would only need the red, so if it can drop in behind it as the last red, just needs to drop it in, doesn't need to play for a colour. Makes all the difference. Thirty-seven. that cut Thank back again it, he didn't have any side on the cue ball there i thought he would have had a bit of right hand side on the cue ball to force the cue ball straighter onto the black but look at the cue ball coming back there was nothing on it well, if there was very little you could see previously how disappointed he was to be as straight on that red as he ended up being so oh, it's a safety well i'm surprised because that black is potable and there's a path to that red but decided to push a ball safe Pressway, 25 the lead then 35 left well bit of insurance there with the brown Very fortunate there, Judd Trump, getting the double kiss and not leaving the red on. It's going to be close, this. Has to be close. Not quite.
has it just crept past? I think it may have done. The yellow a little bit more difficult as well now. Well, he's looking at the potting angle, so it must be close. This could have been kinder, but a chance to bring the brown into play. Play a good safety. In fact, if he just plays it slow, he'd snooker him behind the. Nothing wrong with that either. He's got him behind the brown. And now everything there for the taking. Yeah, nicely played. Typically tense frame early in a major final, this, and still in the balance with the colours remaining. Yeah, just needs the ball. Chris Wakelin can be tempted by this yellow. The black a little bit safer now. Yeah, good pot. Snooker's required. Just one. So I'd like to see this green disappear. Themes this week has been the number of times frames have been rescued from snookers required on occasion multiple snookers so Wakelin won't just yet well his heart will have been in his mouth there when he saw the cue ball going towards the middle pocket he thought it was going to cannon into the Brown, I'm pretty sure. Well, that was a nice kiss. It's put the black into a really good position where it is. And it may have got the snooker. Game isn't over yet. I think the brown is just in the way of 
trying to stun him behind the pink. If Wakelin were able to pot the green, Trump would then need two snookers. And he has spotted it very nicely. Doesn't want to be snooker behind the blue. <clears throat> 29 the difference, 22 there. Terrific pop. So two excellent pots, initially on the yellow, which was frame ball, and then the green for a bit of extra insurance has put Wakelin on the cusp in this frame. Yeah, but not there yet. Not there yet. Frame conceded. But Judd Trump has now conceded, and it was a really good cut back yellow, having missed a similar sort of pot on the black in the first frame, which cost him, and Chris Wakelin gets a foothold early in this final. It's one frame apiece. The golden ticket in Belfast today. A packed house here at the Waterfront Hall to see who lifts the Alex Higgins trophy. Judd Trump has done it three times before, three times in a row, all against the great Ronnie O'Sullivan, all by nine frames to seven. But he's been pegged back in frame two by the underdog Chris Wakelin, the shootout champion, who potted a couple of excellent balls at the end of that very tense and tight second frame. The yellow, which was missable, a cut back into the left corner, having missed a black into that same pocket, which cost him the first frame, and then the green to polish it off. Frame three of eight in this session. Nine are required to be crowned the champion. And the black tied up for now. Well, he could bring the black into play here, but um, he doesn't need to. He could just drop that cue ball in behind the black for a snooker. It frees the black. Yeah, didn't play the snooker. Looked like a certainty. Again here, it looks like you can play the cue ball in behind the green here. Cover that red near the balk line. When he arrived at the shootout last season, by his own admission, Chris Wakelin couldn't buy a victory. He was down at 47 in the world. Ended the week as a ranking event winner, and what a way to win it as well, with a century in the final. It's a different kind of pressure, the shootout, because it's a very different sort of tournament to one like this, of course. Different rules, very different crowd, very boisterous, quite intimidating, particularly on finals day, but he handled all superbly, and it's clearly given him a whole new level of belief to the more conventional game. And he could play the cue ball to the balk line. The red doesn't pass the brown. He would have liked to have covered that red, you know, somewhere around about the balk line area. Well, 
Again, the cue ball should have been close to the cushion there, and it would have stopped the safety, the return safety here. Very, very close. Didn't entertain the safety. Played the pot. No intentions of trying to get that cue ball close to the cushion. Very nearly caught that middle pocket bump. Well, he did, but very nearly caught the wrong one. Good attempt to try and get him behind the brown. Still a good safety, though. Just trying to rest the cue ball in the cluster of reds. He judges that so well. Only could free the black here if he wanted to. Oh, this is an excellent safety. A touch hard, it would have been a snooker, but still a good safety. And this is something that Trump has gotten into his game. He's got used to playing good safety. I think it, he kind of enjoys it now. Whereas at one stage, he wouldn't entertain the safety for long. He'll always look back very fondly on this event because his first title here in 2018 represented a watershed moment, really. He hadn't won a ranking event for over a year. And to defeat O'Sullivan in a close final, well, that was the catalyst for that huge burst of success he enjoyed, not only winning his first world championship the following spring, but then winning six ranking titles in one season and another five the season after that. Four. Oh, that's probably the worst safety that he's played so far this afternoon. Oh. 
Oh, brilliant shot. Brilliant shot. And found the path back to the blue beautifully. Well, what a confident pot this was going into that left corner. But bringing that cue ball round absolutely spot on the blue. That just shows you what he's feeling. I mean, he could have played round for one of the ball colours, but decided to play it softly for the blue. He's feeling confident. Make no mistake, he's up for this. Seven. The red nearly missed. The cue ball nearly found the pocket. Ronnie O'Sullivan made the point ahead of this match that Chris Wakelin has confronted the fact that he's got this horrible record against Trump, having lost 11 out of 11. But that's exactly what he has done. In fact, he was the one who raised it after his semi-final victory over Lazowski. And he's seeing it as a challenge, as an opportunity. 30. And if he can win today, well, those 11 defeats previously won't matter anymore because he'll have lifted the biggest title of his life. And he'll have beaten the best player in the world right now to do it. He's a big underdog today, but he was against Lazowski in the semi-finals, and we saw how that went. Yeah, meanwhile, he just put a little bit too much pace in the cue ball there, in potting the red. He's a really good rest player, but they still need potting these pinks, and he's got to judge the cannon nicely. And he judged it well. No fear. Really like to get the black back on its spot, but I can't see the point in playing for it unless he can finish fairly straight on it. Somewhere there where he could just drop it in and play for the red next to it. Point 
plays with a maple cue. Most players play with an ash cue, but the cue that he's using doesn't have any grain in it. Maple wood. And now he's got the black back on its spot. He's got a great chance of winning the frame at this visit. Trump's problems in this frame were caused by him going in off and playing safe. Four straight into the yellow pocket. Wakeling got in with a good red. 42. Yes, it was a good red. Make no mistake about it, but it was a poor safety from Judd Trump. He just sent the cue ball directly into the pocket. It wasn't unlucky or anything like that. He just caught it all wrong. In the frame previously, he had the black over the yellow pocket and failed to get good position. This is the great long red from Chris Wakelin. So it's Trump that's making the mistakes at the moment. Well, again, it would have liked to have been a bit straighter on the black to go into the reds. Yeah, well played. He's only missed two balls so far. One was Chris. It was the black in the first frame when he had the chance to steal it. But that aside, he's looked very composed so far just as he did yesterday. I think Trump knows he's in for a match here because, as I say, it was 4-0 down to him the previous time they played before winning five in a row. Right, yeah. And when he won in their Crucible meeting in 2018, Trump was 8-4 up and cruising and ended up having to fall over the line. So he certainly won't be taking anything for granted today and he's made that point himself after his victory over Hawkins. Yeah, nicely split. Well, this has been an outstanding break right from the get-go with the excellent red to get in after the in-off from Trump. He's taken his time, but he's been clinical in the way he's potted these balls. 64. Some of them haven't been straightforward, but he's engineered this break very nicely. Always been a really good player, Chris Wakeley, but now he believes it. After out, he's got that inner belief now that he can go on to win more tournaments, and he's showing us that he can. He won it with a century, the best break of the tournament. And now he's eyeing his first century here in Belfast this week. Oh, shame. No century, but he'll be happy enough with 87. That was a superb break from Chris Wakelin, and the underdog has made a very positive start.
to this Northern Ireland Open final. He leads the favourite 2-1. There's always the possibility in a final of this magnitude in front of a big crowd with so much at stake that the underdog can Thank be intimidated, possibly even fold, Chris but Wakelin, there's absolutely no sign of that from Chris Wakelin. He'll be encouraged by the beginning that he's made, particularly given that he missed the black when he had the chance to take the opener. He's responded very strongly. So, one frame away from the first interval. Not for the first time today, though. He's caught the blue off the break. He'll need to sort that out. Yeah, two breaks and twice he's hit the blue. The black doesn't go. And the pink does to the right corner. Oh, well, he's overhit it. They certainly like that, didn't they? Would you please turn off the flashlight? Some movement. In the audience there, and maybe somebody had a flashlight on the phone taking pictures. <laughs> well, pink will go to the middle or the right corner. So just a lot with the cue ball. Switch to right handed there, look. Four. And he'd like to get to that red next to the black if he could. But if not, then high on the red above the black. The one nearest the pack of reds. If he's high on that one, he can get to the black. Well, he's broke off twice, Chris Wakelin, and both times he's caught the blue. Thanks. This is the break again. It's catching the reds a little bit too thin. And he knows those kind of shots can be really costly. 11. Now, he's just travelled a little bit too far, but I feel sure he'll go into those reds there. And if he can play it with a lot of screw on the cue ball, and bring the cue ball out of the pack of reds for that red above the black. Just wonder if he can get enough screw on the cue ball here to play that shot. Don't forget the black. Well, I think Ronnie O'Sullivan made a good point, and he, he can see how well Chris Wakelin is playing, and that's putting a little bit of pressure on him. He's made some mistakes. I said in the second frame, he failed to get good position from the black into the gr into the yellow pocket. And from there, he missed the red and left Chris Wakelin with a chance. In the last frame, he went in off. One. Directly into the pocket. It wasn't like he, he hit something and went in off. He fired the cue ball directly into the pocket. So that wasn't good at all. Sorry about that. Well, that's for foul, isn't it? You've got to keep your feet on the floor. He couldn't have landed any worse, could he? And it made a difference with the positional shot. So now this shot to the right corner Eight. is not easy. And he'll want to punish that mistake from Trump, make him think.
Nicely done. He's got a pot success of 95% so far in this final. It's actually better than that because a couple of them have not been significant. He missed when he was on the cusp of the century just now, but obviously the frame was won. So he's not making many mistakes so far, Chris Wakelin. The one he did make in the first frame was costly, but he's bounced back impressively and he very much looks up for this. Yeah, he's looking at playing a delicate cannon here to a single red. And that's the one. Didn't quite catch it thick enough and, well, the next one's going to be a good one if you're going to keep it going. Didn't quite catch 15. the red that he intended thick enough. Fifteen. Well, what about that for a shot? He said, have a go at this red. And that's putting pressure on Trump. The red's possible, but there's no guarantee of position. If he misses it, it could be 3-1 down. Well, beautiful shot. He deserved better. He deserved better, but it's gone in. He could have lost the frame if it hadn't. A well, chance to play a safety. Dead on the cushion behind the yellow. Looks good. Brown ball. Excellent shot. Early days, but Trump is behind in all the, the stats at the moment. Pot success. Safety success. Yes, and, well, that red was always going towards that left corner. Uh, it just depends if he's got any kind of an angle on this red to pot it and get back to a colour. If it's straight, then he needs to play a, a trump shot. Big screw back. That's a very confident shot he's played there. And refusing that red to the left corner. Didn't have the angle to get to a colour. And another mistake from Trump. He's not afraid to go for his shots, Wakelin, that's for sure. He got in with a great red in the last frame. 
But he's definitely on top at the moment. Wait for it. Well, that was a great chance. And that's the first important ball, if you like, that he's missed. Well, apart from that black in the first frame, that black. Well, that was a pressure ball for sure. And Judd Trump could do with a meaningful visit right now. His highest break was the 47 he made with his first foray to the table in this final. That cue ball just held up to stay on the blue, green or yellow. Well, again, didn't play the kiss on that red. Three. Played to come down the table a little further. The two reds nearest the right corner thought there may have been a plant, but obviously not. Otherwise, he would have played them. Well, that was a nice little rub Four. on the red to leave him absolutely spot on the black. Just lost the cue ball a little bit, so may play for that red near the cushion. But a little bit more difficult to get to the black Nine. from there. I don't think the black goes to the right corner. Now having a real good look at these two reds closest together. Let's see if they're a plant. Point seven. So he's gonna need at least one of those difficult reds. That's if the red by the pink goes, and I don't think it does. Twenty-eight. That's not the best positional shot, you've got to say. That is, that's a wonderful cannon he's just played. And probably win the frame with that shot. That's the kind of shot making that is 
the hallmark of Judd Trump's game, his ability to keep a break going when things are awkward, the table is difficult. He, he didn't play that one well, though. He needed to finish high on the black. He may have to play a cannon to the pink. Played it well. So just the pink needed, and it's going to be two each. And I think he'll be relieved, Trump. Yes, because Chris Wakelin had the opportunity with the long-range red. He had a chance before that as well when he finished really badly hampered on the pink. one. Still got the looks red, but it did make a difference. He's missed the black, which certainly came as a surprise to him, judging by his expression, but he should have done enough to tie it up at the first interval. Yeah, don't blame him for coming back, no way, Clint. It's one snooker with a free ball, and we've seen that already this week. run there. Seem to go to the left of the cue ball. Well, that's a good attempt. Yeah, very good shot. And with the red being next to the black, there's every chance of hitting the black here. He has a little smile to himself because this could be a free ball as well. He'll be thinking about the routine black he missed just now, maybe a temporary lapse in concentration, having got over the line in terms of snookers required. Had that gone in, the interval would already be underway as it is. Trump still has to take a bit of care. 48 the difference, 35 on, this is the black in question. Yeah, very good shot indeed. That had all kinds of problems attached to it. If he misses the red, it's a free ball. I may have to pop this red. He doesn't really want to. And with the red going in, Chris Wakelin decides to call it a day. It's been very competitive, it's been tough, it's been tense. It's been hard match play snooker at the start of our Northern Ireland Open final. And Chris Wakelin is taking it to Judd Trump. All the signs are we're going to be in for a very competitive final. At the first break, it's two frames all. It's four more this afternoon and they'll be back tonight. So let's rejoin our commentary team. So Judd Trump gets us back underway in this Northern Ireland Open final. It's been a very tight and competitive mini session thus far. Four frames split down the middle. And Chris Wakelin has competed very well. And he certainly sounded very upbeat, very bullish, I thought, in the words he used ahead of this final. Of course, he has huge respect for Judd Trump. And the elephant in the room for him is the fact that he's lost all 11 times they've played. But... He was very much looking forward to it. He's been buoyed by the way in which he dispatched Lazowski in the semi-finals, a player that he'd also not beaten before. And so far, he's walked the walk because he's more than competed in every department. 
but there is a long, long way to go, of course. They both need seven more frames from here, four more in this first session. And the question is whether someone can forge an advantage going into this evening's resumption at 7 o'clock UK time. Chris Wakeling came into this tournament ranked at 25 in the world. He's guaranteed to move up to a career-high 21 with the 35,000 points he's already accrued for getting to the title match. If he wins today, he'll be knocking on the door of the top 16. He'll be in 18th spot. Now, which red can he get to, to the left corner? If it's the long straight one, well, that's a tougher one. It didn't make any difference though. Nicely on the block. And their real confidence boosters, those type of shots. He played through the two cushions. Not afraid to leave the red next to the black there. He had to get that one. And there's no doubt that Judd Trump's long potting has returned to something akin to its very best this season. It went missing at times last season, but already today, five out of six from long range. Eight. Nine. So he won't be too bothered that the black's gone onto the pink spot. Doesn't need to chase the black. He could play for the pink or blue here. 14. Pink would go into the black spot. Wouldn't be that bothered about them swapping spots, pink and black. Please make sure your phones are silent. Twenty one. Another tester with the rest, this for Trump. Yeah, just lost the cue ball though. Now, does he take the pink on? Going for a 20th straight victory. He does take it on and he gets it. Only Ding Zhongwei, who did it most recently, 10 years ago. Stephen Hendry, Ray Reardon and Steve Davis have won three consecutive 29. ranking events. 
It's a very exclusive club. Well, he's got an angle on the pink to go into the reds. I'll play for that loose one over the right side. Into them a go, and he couldn't have hit them any better. 35. He may be coming to life. His highest break so far is only 51. Well, could have done with being straighter on this red. That wasn't Fortune. the best positional shot in the world. Left himself hampered, should still pot it, but just made it a little bit harder for himself and that led to the Fortune. cannon on the red. Choice of reds. 48. <laughs> yeah, and that all started a couple of shots ago when he had an easy pink and didn't finish straight on the red. Had to go down for the blue, didn't get on it as he intended. And it just shows you if you don't keep that cue ball under control, things can stu soon turn. Oh, chance for Wakelin. He was looking good. A few shots, Trump. And this is a shot that I was talking about. Easy pink there, but should have been straight on this red to play back for the pink. Left himself bridging over the reds, and that's where his pr problem started. Now, will he pay the ultimate price in this frame? Well, he's been unfortunate, you know. <coughs> A couple of times he's gone into the reds and hasn't finished on one. Eight. Could so easily have won the frame from that had he finished on a red. <laughs> Trump will be delighted. Press work in eight. I think he may have just left enough room for Judd to have played a safety. He could do without moving this red away from the cushion. Clint 40 adrift. Double kiss. And another chance for Trump to kill this frame off and move in front. Yeah, pressure on this one though. There's nothing safe now if you should miss. The red over the right side of the table favours a right-handed player. Didn't miss, though.
seven. He's appearing in his 41st ranking final today, Judd Trump, to tie up the great Steve Davis's tally. Only O'Sullivan, Hendry and Higgins have appeared in more. Eight. John Higgins, that is, of course. Today is all about the Alex Higgins trophy. And the check for £80,000. And, of course, Judd Trump is the runaway leader in the one-year ranking list. 30. Going for consecutive victory number 20. 40. <coughs> Only 59 left on the table. Only just got past that. 20. But now, Wakelin needing snookers. Point one. He missed a red into this left corner. But Wakelin gave him a second opportunity and he made no mistake at the second bite of the cherry. So Judd Trump starting this second half of session one very positively. 29. Got in with 48 initially and has finished the job at this visit. Trump, 29, and the, the blue is academic. Chris Wakelin remains in his chair. So Judd Trump takes the lead for the first time since the opening frame. <laughs> he leads Chris Wakelin by three frames to two. Open, and it's one of the curiosities of this event Thank that you. it's always Frame been six. won by a left-hander. Mark break. King in the inaugural year. Mark Williams, Judd Trump times three. Mark Allen times two. And Trump, of course looking for a fourth this evening. That's a better break off from Wakelin, who's caught the blue on a couple of occasions. against Barry Hawkins. When he builds up ahead of steam, he is extremely difficult to stop. Hence the Juddernaut moniker. Sixteen. Seventeen. Yep, very attacking, opening the balls up, finished on a red to the left corner. And this has now turned into a good chance. This is what it does so often. One chance, end of frame. Hasn't done it yet so far this afternoon. Highest break remains 51. He's made five centuries this week, including that superb 1 2 8 to finish things off against Hawkins last night. But he's been prolific this season in the scoring stakes. 37 centuries already. Became only the second player after Neil Robertson to make a century of centuries in a single season, and he's well on track 32. to replicate that feat. In this campaign, this is only the sixth ranking event of the season. There's an awful lot of snooker still to come. Thirty-two. 
47. Oh, he's disappointed with that one, leaving it the wrong side of the blue. Maybe he feels he's got a kick there. Only he will know. His highest break so far, 51. Thought he was going to beat it in the last frame. And thought so too in this frame. He still might. Yeah, that second little kiss leaves him on the red to the left corner. And this is a slightly ominous resumption after the interval from Judd Trump from where Chris Wakelin is sitting. He undercut the red early in this frame. This is the result. He looks very sharp. Yeah, just trying to prepare himself in case he comes back to the table, which is unlikely. But you've got to be prepared. So just the red needed. Oh, he's going to be two behind. Seven. Byron Snookers. By a margin, the quickest kill of the afternoon. Chad Trump beginning to stride round the table with menacing purpose. The frame was over in seven minutes. This is just a little bonus for him. Uh, could have done without the kiss. century eludes Judd Trump but he's threatening to, to overdrive here these are concerning signs for Chris Wakelin as Trump moves too clear for the first or two this trophy that beautiful Waterford crystal prize awaiting the first player to nine this evening Frame since seven. the interval in the last three frames Chris Wakelin has mustered just 24 points 
Didn't score in the previous one. Two more to come in this first session. Wakelin has had one or two problems this afternoon with his break off. He caught the blue two times. Yeah, just catching the reds a little thin. His break off in the frame just gone was actually perfectly respectable, but he left a red for Trump and Trump stepped in just shy of what would have been a 38th season century for him. Tournament high break, by the way, remains Joe Perry's with a career equaling best 145. So Joe in line for the £5,000 bonus as things stand. When Judd Trump won the Turkish Masters, which was his previous ranking title before this season, he made a maximum in the final against Matt Selt. That certainly opened things up. Yeah. Look at the board. The black available. Slightly rueful semi grin there from Judd Trump. And it feels important for Wakelin to make real capital of this chance at the moment. The highest value colour is not great but he needs to stem this tide that's threatening to build from his opponent. He needs to miss the reds here. One. Well, that could have been worse. But these are, are nasty little shots when you've just lost the last two and haven't scored in the last couple of frames. Yeah, nicely done. And those are not gimmies when you've been kept cold. Seven. Struck it confidently. And a little bit of left-hand side on the cue ball to take it down towards the blue. the red that's closest to the right corner would be a good ball to take at some stage it would free the, the pink into that pocket would have liked to have been closer to the pink He's introduced these days as Strictly Chris Wakelin, and that, of course, is because he got involved in a local Strictly-style dancing competition. He actually made the final in aid of a baby hospice charity in Coventry and shed four stone in the space of three months.
So many players these days at the top of the game are looking to ensure that they're in good physical shape, which in turn can help the mental application that's required to thrive at the highest level in this sport. Well, that's a pair right out of the Joe Johnson Autumn Winter Collection. Yeah, yeah a bit plain for me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> They're quite low-key, aren't they, <laughs> by your standards? Nice pair, though. He would have liked to have taken that red just below the pink there because that would have freed the pink into more pockets. He may have tried to play for that red, but he's still OK with this red to the middle. Well, it's been a good break so far from Chris Wakelin, but it was down to Judd Trump playing this red a little bit too thick, the cue ball just reaching the balk line. Red's going over all the pockets. Spoilt for choice. 41. Chris Wakelin's highest break. Eight to seven so far. Yes, for all his good snooker this week, and there's been a lot of it. He's yet to make a century in Belfast this year. This will be a very good moment to do that, but his main concern is just getting the frame one and getting himself back on the scoreboard after a barren spell since he led 2-1. Yeah, again, great picture. Going up three levels, the crowd. Well supported this event in Belfast. <coughs> Doesn't want to be straight. I think he might just have a, a little angle. If not, then it's going to have to be a difficult pink. Sure, if he's on, 52. he's on this red down the left side of the table, but that's a tough one. Yeah, it looks like he can just about pot it. This is going to be a very difficult black. May have to play it with the spider as well if he does decide to play it. It was a little unfortunate. A fuller ball kiss on the red. It's an easy black.
very mindful of the fact, even though he's 53 points to the good, that the table is inviting for a Trump counter. Rainbow. Yeah, and don't blame him for refusing the black. Gave it some thought. That was an important break. A timely visit for Chris Wakelin. This session was just threatening to get away from him. Well, it might still do. He's not safe yet. Well, he could come off the left side cushion and land up to that red that's nearest the black cushion. That's an option to play. There's no reds go. The black would be stopping the red going along the cushion. That's an option. This red is playing. It's got to be thin, this. Yeah, well played. That was tough. Still 75 points Please available. Please make sure your phones are on silent. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. He's just creeping in behind the brown. And just what he didn't want, Chris Wakelin. I think he can get to that red. I suggested Trump play a few shots ago. He knew. Oh. He knew he was well shot. And that was a really poor shot from Chris Wakelin. He'll be really disappointed with that one. A gift for Judd Trump. And this has become a very big frame now. Wakelin was looking good to stop the rot. The three straight frames from Trump. One. Well, it may have to be the blue. Played for the pink. But that little cannon that he got here, trying to drift past that. Oh no, missed that by a margin. There was obviously pressure on it. He knew he had to get it. And a big reprieve for Chris Wakelin. Yeah, and he missed it thin, so can't blame a kick. Kicks, you don't miss them thin. That was just a miss. Oh, well, it's got nervy all of a sudden. It's a gigantic frame, isn't it? If Trump wins it, he's guaranteed a lead tonight. He's three clear with the chance of going four clear at the end of the session. If Wakelin wins it, he can still emerge from the biggest session of his snooker life to date with a share of the spoils, so... ...players acutely aware of the magnitude of this frame. Yeah, good pot. Managed to avoid the other red. So, chance to forget all about that blue he's just missed. The black doesn't go to that right corner as yet, but the red below it will go. Oh. 
Now again, that oh. wasn't the best positional shot he's ever played. Well, I say the black doesn't go, but he's played for it, so it must go. Thirty-five points in the game now. Can I see enough of this red to pot it? There's the answer. But he hasn't quite come far enough on the black. Like to have been straighter on it. Yeah, he tried to pinch as much as what he could on the pocket to have a, a shot at this red along the cushion. Big 20. shot, 27 points in the game. If he misses this, every likelihood he'll lose the frame. Didn't miss it though. Well. It looks like it's going to be the brown. He, he made a half century, but he couldn't make it pay. And then Mr. Red and Judd Trump has stepped in with a cool clearance to the pink to increase the lead to 5-2. And Chris Wakelin is going to have to dig deep now. He's played some very good stuff in this first session, but a gilt edge chance to close to just a single frame Thank behind you. and maybe emerge from this session, session. with honours even has gone. Work. So now all of his efforts, all of his focus, his concentration must go into winning this frame to give himself hope when they come back tonight at 7 o'clock local time. Judd Trump, on the other hand, is eyeing a four-frame cushion, which would surely be very nearly unassailable. The way he is playing right now, the confidence he's feeling, the fact that he can win matches from in front, from behind, makes no odds to him on this extraordinary 19-match winning streak as he goes for a third consecutive ranking title and the 26th of his career. And he's still only 34. Yeah, brilliant. He's checked to see if the black will go, and obviously it will. He started to see him. That last frame, so important for Chris Wakelin. Had a chance, missed that easy red to the right corner. But it looks like he's out of position. Wasn't a straightforward clearance to the pink just now for Judd Trump, and this was a key shot. Typical Trump, really. 
Even typical Trump. That's a brilliant shot. Blew back into a blind pocket. And there's another speciality from Trump. Well, again, this deserved to win the frame, this shot. But difficult to get to a color, uh, a red from this, so just a little tickle up. That's an excellent return from long Judge range. Trump. That's Judd Trump back to his best from distance, seven out of nine. Nearly 80%. Could have been a, a lot closer, couldn't it? Had Chris potted that red to the right corner in the last frame. <coughs> and now he's trying to hang on for dear life. Foul, and I miss. Judge round six. Quick look from Trump, but nothing doing, so a little bit of work here for Desi to do. Um, so the red, that, the red underneath the pink, half a ball towards you. Yeah. Yeah, the red behind it, touch closer to that one. That's it. And then the pink, quarter of the ball up. Uh, a bit more. And then that one. Touch one, just the tiniest bit. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Do you? There's Tatiana Williston, a very efficient replacement there, done with a minimum of fuss. So take two. Yeah, he's trying to hit that red just below the pink, because there is a danger of leaving a red on. If he catches them too far down, and that's OK. Good shot. Ball. That helps matters. <laughs> Can put this cue ball where he wants now in the bulk area. <coughs> Trying to hide that. Red, that's closest to the left side cushion. So close. Oh, he didn't want that kiss. That could be lethal. He got so close to that pot. One. So Judd Trump back in early in this final frame of the session, looking to go for the jugular.
Eight. Please make sure your phones are off or on silent. Nine. So, little cannon to those two reds. Preferably the furthest one. That one. Not too Sorry. bothered about going down for the blue as long as he gets the right side, which he has done. And you couldn't place these reds any better. Just needs to keep that cue ball under control now. Pink will go to the right corner. 22. Three. Pink spot held. Next highest is the green. Under hit it. He has a misjudged the two times. Forty-three. Forty-four. One more red and a colour. Should seem safe. Chris Wakelin competed extremely well before the interval. He led 2-1. Fifty-one. But since that 15-minute break, it's been all Judd Trump. Although, of course, Wakelin had the chance in the previous frame to close to within just one. His failure to take it is looking increasingly costly. Yeah, and he could have gone three, one up at the interval, couldn't he? He had chances. And there's the frame. There's no coming back in this one for the shootout champion. He's going to need something Herculean this evening because Judd Trump is on the most sensational roll of form. A winning machine reminiscent of the season after he won his world 65. championship when he won six ranking titles in a single season. In fact, he won 14 in 28 months, 66. having won this for the first time five years ago, averaging one every two months. Given the standard today, that is extraordinary. And now he is in sight of a 26th crown. 73. 74. Simply oozing confidence and self-belief is Trump once again after a 19-month drought Without a ranking title, it's scarcely believable that he went that long when you see the way he's queuing this season. All that's been missing in this session is a century. 
He finished with one last night against Barry Hawkins for his fifth consecutive frame. And that is what he's achieved here this afternoon from 2-1 adrift. Yeah, Eight just nine. might play for the pink here. Makes the green a little bit easier. 90. Yeah, just under hit it. 96. Got to miss the middle pocket here. Left middle. Oh, what a shame. No century, but it's yet another burst of frames in Belfast to put Judd Trump in sight of a third straight ranking title, a 20th consecutive victory and a fourth Alex Higgins' trophy from 2-1 down to 6-2 up at the interval.